Welcome to Cooking with Granny and Mama Soul Kitchen. Today we have a Betty Crocker cake mix. It's called Triple Chocolate Fudge Cake, everybody. We're not being sponsored. We're making our own. But let me tell you, we poured the mix into a bowl. We have a cup of buttermilk, three eggs, and a half a cup of vegetable oil. And look at this, everybody. Oreos, toffee crunch, cookies, everybody. I'm telling you, these are the B-O-M-B right here. These are delicious. I'm telling you, these are some good old cookies. So what we're going to do, we're going to break them up into a Ziploc bag, everybody. We're going to put about 20 Oreo cookies up to 15, uh, 15 to 20 Oreo cookies. And then we want to beat the mess out of it with a nice little bacon rolling pin here. If you ain't got a wooden rolling pin, you better get with it. But anyway, this is how it looks after we beat the mess out of it inside of the Ziploc bag. And then we're going to put it into the cake mix that's in the bowl, everybody. And I'm telling you, this is going to be so delicious. It's something different about how we added those cookies in there and it added so much flavor at the end. Exactly. This is what we're doing. We're going to add in that toffee goodness right there. Look at that right there. Now, we're going to mix it into the mix really well before we add all our other ingredients. And we just want to make sure it's fully incorporated and nice and evenly throughout the mix. Now we're going to add the eggs, okay? We add the eggs. Then we add the oil in there as well. And then we're going to go ahead and add our buttermilk. Everybody always asks us about our cakes. How do we have them so moist? I'm telling you, you can make a box cake into fabulousness. Look at that. We're pouring that buttermilk on in there. And you know what else we add in there, everybody? We add in some vanilla, about two teaspoons of vanilla in our cakes, everybody, to add more flavor throughout that cake mix. Now, we're going to go ahead and hand mix this ourselves with our spoons. You can use a hand mixer if you want, but we're doing it the old school way, okay? We want to make sure everything's in we don't want to beat up those chunks too much up in that cake mix. But we're going to keep on incorporating it until it's nice and consistency like a ribbony kind of effect. Now, this is what it looks like after we beat the mess out of it with our spoon here. And then it's going to look just like this. Isn't that beautiful, everybody? We're going to go ahead and add this into our nice pan. Now, this was a disaster on Thanksgiving. My pan got burned. It was sitting on a gas stove, everybody. And it was supposed to be turned on the back burner. And it burned my cake. <laughs> I was so upset. My pan. But it's still a good wilton pan it's a wilton pan everybody we're going to show you how it looks after that we sprayed it with some nice pan baking powder spray that's what we use here everybody we use that in all our cakes okay because we want to be coated with a nice little flour in the spray as well so we're going to go ahead and hit this on the nice cab on the counter as well make sure our cake is all level make sure everything's even and then we're going to put it in the oven at 350 degrees for 35 minutes to 40 minutes but 40 minutes is really too long but we put it in for 35 to 30 36 minutes and look at that everybody you don't want your cake being dried out but look at it it's turned out to perfection everybody look at this isn't it beautiful oh yeah that looks so delicious i'm telling you this was a really good cake so we're gonna go ahead and let it thoroughly cool when it thoroughly cools everybody we shake it a little bit making sure that it's gonna be loosened up because remember we use that pam spray and uh, look at this everybody one hand look at that look at that everybody look, look at that the pan is just ugh, the cake is perfect even we had the little burnt areas in the pan but it still turned out perfectly so i ain't too sore about it i can still use my pan thank the lord jesus now we're gonna go ahead and cut this wonderful moistness of this cake i'm gonna show you how moist it is the buttermilk is what adds that wonderful nice texture texture to this cake everybody it makes it so moist it makes you want to slap somebody but i'm telling you look at this oh look at it look at it yeah, yeah let's look at it let's look at the inside now look at that we don't see our little crunch cookies because our cookies actually melted inside of the cake everybody there was no cookie but look at them dark spots see them dark spots that was the oreo cookies everybody that right there is some dark spots of oreo love right there we got some whipped cream here on the plate i'm gonna show you how to do is you can use icing or whatever you want to do but i use low fat whipped cream because i'm trying to keep it on the low side for the healthier people yes the healthy people can have that but look at that cake right there isn't that beautiful look at that the mic is going to push up against it. look at the moisture it's not crumbling it's all together everybody that is a moist cake everybody that's what we're talking about okay so we're going to take some of this nice low fat whipped cream right here we're going to put it on top and you guys can do whatever you guys want to do but this is mine right here but then we'll go in and add some more of those toffee cookie uh oreo cookies on top the crunch ones we saved a little bit for that and look at that right there we're going to add in some extra goodness right here we're going to add in a score candy bar everybody i love score candy bars it's like that toffee that good old toffee crunch little oh, even like seeds candy oh you you i'm telling you this is the best thing chop it up a little bit put some of that on the cake right there look at that everybody 
you can enjoy this even with the low fat cream everybody whipped cream is that's how the way we go you can use regular if you want whatever it may be but look at that it's a nice portion for just yourself but look at this everybody will enjoy it they can have fattening low fattening whatever it may be but look at this right here isn't that beautiful oh it was so good i'm telling you guys it's very simple to do you guys can go back and look at our tutorials again of how to make wonderful moist cakes because we have a lot of cakes on our mama soul kitchen on youtube everybody we want you guys to join us if you like what you see make sure you guys follow us for a lot more because we have a lot more that's coming soon look at this isn't that beautiful just look at that the crunches of the toffiness and the oh the cake even through out the cake is just simply delicious let's go ahead and cut us a little piece out of here with that spoon right here and let's see see how it look and how it tastes here you try it mm, 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 mm. i'm telling you this is what i'm talking about people ain't gonna talk about you at the church look at that right there vibrating on that plate right there follow us for more on youtube